Hi and welcome back to Jim Builds. I am Jim and today we are not in the garage. We are somewhere far nicer and there's a reason for that. And that is because this is an inside job. Now, when I was looking at um, the gearbox adapter plate originally, a couple of episodes back, uh, I wanted to get a price for scanning the, the plate that... Um, I've made so I can perhaps replicate it, get something water jet cut or laser cut. Um, and the price I got was, don't get me wrong, it was fair, but it got me thinking, why not just buy a 3D scanner myself? Because there's quite a few jobs that I want to do uh, moving on in the future. Um, and have a go myself so I have bought this the Revo Point Pop 3 now there's quite a few videos on these um, but I was just thought I'd talk about my experience with it I've had it uh, about two weeks now still getting used to it but it's got some pretty cool things and it comes in a really cool box which I'll show you now so inside here you get the following the scanner, tripod handle, turntable, some dude's head, a battery pack, a phone mount, cables, a calibration board, some more cables, instructions, which I suppose are optional, and another cable. I also got the larger turntable, um, mainly because it looks really cool, um, but also you can tilt it, so that way I don't need to necessarily keep moving the parts around whilst they're on there. Just thought I'd show it off. So what does this mean for you guys? So I'm going to start off with something pretty easy using the turntable because the problem I'm finding with the when you try and go uh, freestyle with the with the pop three is that um, it ends up it's trying to get the right distance. You know, we'll talk about this in a bit. Um, so for the first thing, this is the rear cover, um, crank seal cover for a cross flow. Now I've already modified one of these and that's something that's gonna come up in the ne next year. I've just got to get some stuff finished with the gearbox first. And it's got me thinking about, well, perhaps I could actually produce something instead of modifying. So let's get this set up on the turntable and I'll show you how easy this is to scan. So I've set the turntable going and just pressed to uh, start scanning. And all I need to do is just wait for this to do at least one full rotation. Uh, try and pick up as much data as you can get. And you can see because it's all set at a perfect distance, it seems to go pretty well. After one lap, you can see on the outside, there's a lot of random data that it's that it's picked up, but that can all be deleted, um, which we can do now. There we go, once it's processed, you can move this scan around, have a proper look at it. Now it's picked up some of the dots, that's fine. Uh, I've gone on to do a couple of extra scans because I want to try and get as much information as possible. So altering the angle and turning it upside down and just setting the turntable and going for another scan. Although I think I've got it too near there, so um, we'll see what happens. Yeah, there we go. So we've got this is some of the data I was talking about, but you can highlight it and just delete it so you can edit all this stuff off. Um, and we'll go for a merge, which is using the software, it can take the scans and align it. And because of the turntable and all the dots on it, it seems to align pretty well. I'm really happy with that. It looks pretty good. I mean, you, I could use that to get some usable information and uh, hopefully uh, modified parts based off this. I think the covers worked out quite well. Uh, I'm happy with the result. Bit of processing work and I'm still learning. So... There's a lot of helpful stuff on the Revo Point uh, software that really does explain things in a lot better detail than what I could. So 
Uh, I'm going to challenge myself now. So this is the, hand, the cylinder head that I cleaned up a couple of weeks back. Now I want to do some stuff with these moving on, particularly the engine, which is something I'm going to talk about next year once the gearbox is in and I've got time to, uh, to focus on this. Uh, but there's nothing stopping me doing a bit of prep work. So let's see if I can scan this and what it looks like. Freehand can be tricky because you're trying to not get too close to the cylinder head, but also keep the um, the speed up and try and not overwrite data that you've already done. I'm still trying to figure this out. Um, it's a lot easier using a turntable, but the head is just too heavy. Because um, as you can see, I've just messed that piece up there, but fortunately there is an undo function. Uh, so I carried on scanning the head, so do a bit, move it, do another scan and move it. And it seemed to go pretty well, I think. I'm starting to build a bit of confidence with it. And when all this is done, you end up with these. So these are the actual point cloud da data scans of the head. Uh, and what I'm trying to do here is merge these together to make one solid block. So using the software, it's done this, but as you can see, we've got a bit of a problem. But I'll carry on anyway, and what I'm trying to do here is to show that you can make um, some of the holes filled just by using the software. Um, it's quite a handy tool. So it's a bit of a mixed bag uh, for the scans. The oil seal I'm really happy with, and I'm going to start trying doing some stuff with that. The cylinder head, I think what I really need to do is put on some location, locating dots so it will help the the alignment when I come to merge it all. Uh, this is something I'm definitely going to come back and try again. I need to just get some random scans in and just get used to hold, handling uh, a 3D scanner because this is literally the, the first thing I've, I've done with it. Um, but I think a bit more time and I'll, I'll have it sorted. So I'd be interested to know uh, what you think of 3D scanning. Uh, if you've got any experience of it, please give me some because uh, I'm clearly lacking. Um, but also, what do you think I should scan? Plenty of options. I've got a few things I want to do with the engine, like I've said. Um, and I think I'll use this as a, a good way of getting into that. Um, and maybe some other parts for the Cortina as well. But hope you've enjoyed it and uh, thanks for watching.